Good morning, everybody. Welcome to this week's Head Teacher Bulletin for the week commencing the 27th of November. Let's get going. So in the Gospel this week, we celebrate a king whose reign was not defined by earthly ambitions, uh, supported by powerful armies or the conquest of lands or wealth of peoples. We celebrate a king who taught us very different values, who caused us to see his face in the cry of our sisters and brothers who are hungry, thirsty, strangers, lacking clothing, imprisoned, calling us to love them and to respond to their needs. This week marks the 75th anniversary of the assassination of President uh, J.F. Kennedy. Shortly before his death, he told students in Washington, let us direct our attention to common interests and to the means by which differences can be resolved. For in the final analysis, our most basic common link is that we can inhibit this small planet. We all breathe the same air, we all cherish our children's future, and we all are mortal. Christ came as king for everyone. His message was not for any particular reason, he calls on us to respond to the needs of all inhabiting our small planet Earth. In a world which seems to be increasingly defined by division, differences, inequalities and injustice, let us never cease striving to bring about Christ's kingdom for the benefit and enjoyment of everyone. And that's particularly the message of this week's gospel shared with our pupils in assembly in due to time. So rewards are coming on uh, leaps and bounds, as you can see from the pie chart, the, the red's getting smaller and smaller, so the red denotes uh, negative points and the green's positive. And we're hugely, hugely proud of um, our pupils getting lots of positive points across the school, lots of golden tickets and being rewarded uh, for doing the right thing. So well done to everyone uh, for that. So just a promotion for our moving night, which is on Wednesday, 13th of December. So this has been organised by Julia Radak in year nine. Um, she came to me quite confidently saying, I wish to organise a movie night. I want to raise some funds for our Kenya trip, uh, which is happening in 2025. So um, I've given her the opportunity. She's got the auditorium on Wednesday the 13th. It's £2 per person and there'll be popcorn, a tuck shop. So she's selling tickets uh, ready for the night. So if you're interested and uh, you want your sons and daughters to attend, um, it starts at quarter to four and it'll finish at approximately 10 to six. So um, two pound per entry, raising much needed funds for a good cause uh, for the students' trip to Kenya. Just a reminder about a Christmas concert. Um, the tickets are selling really, really fast. So if you wish to come on the Thursday, the 14th of December, um, starting at 6 p.m. for the concert, but there's a Christmas fair and stalls being set up for the year 11 prom committee to raise some much needed funds for their prom. Um, as I said, a few tickets left. Go on to the event, right? Get booking, um, and we look forward to joining us on uh, Thursday, the 14th, for the Christmas concert. Advent reflections next week. So uh, this is happening on Wednesday, uh, on the 6th of December, at 5 p.m. in the cathedral. It's just an hour-long service. Um, it's really, really good. We team up with the primary schools across our trust, and you know we start the Advent uh, season uh, with a much-needed reflection uh, for the term ahead. All welcome, it's free, do come along if you're interested. So again, Christmas dinner and jumper day. Um, the theme is very much Christmas, 1st of December today, just plugging all the Christmas festivities that we've got planned. But on Tuesday the 19th, we've got our Christmas dinner and jumper day. Um, we've sent out a letter, Christmas dinner is free for all as a school. Um, it's a tradition whereby we um, staff serve the pupils at Christmas dinner. We have a rotor throughout the day for them to um, eat the dinner with their, with their pupils and staff. So, yeah, one pound voluntary donation. Uh, we're, we're raising some much needed funds for um, our chosen charity, which is CAFOC. Um, again, the food banks, we, every year, we put together food bank donations for each tutor group, um, and they get sent off to the uh, Cathedral Food Bank for families uh, who are in need. Um, so just a reminder, the deadline for that is Friday the 8th of December to bring all the donations in, and there's some um, tutor group prizes, uh, non-uniform day, and chocolates for the winners of the um, most creative design. Eco Group have been busily just, uh, you know, leading the way with um, reviewing our school practices, policies in particular. They've been looking at uh, the catering, so they had an um, interview with the head of catering just to find out um, how they can support um, getting rid of single-use plastic. So well done to those. They're going to keep going, and you know, within our canteen especially, they worked uh, tremendously hard last year to get rid of the single-use. Um, non-recyclable uh, containers, so we have cardboard ones now that you can recycle. So well done to them, and they'll keep going, um, waving the flag for Eco. And key dates next week, we've got Year 13 Parents Evening on Thursday, the 7th of December. We're booking through our new My Child at School app, which links to our new management system. So any problems with that, just do contact the office, and they'll be able to support you with booking 
appointments. So have a wonderful weekend and we'll see you all next week. Take care.